Let's talk about low thyroid mistake number one, and that mistake is probably the most common one I see, and it's using iodine in a low thyroid person. Now, make sure you understand what I'm saying here. Iodine should not be used in someone who's suffering with low thyroid symptoms. Now, I know that flies right in the face of a few very prominent uh, quote-unquote thyroid advocates, but here's what you don't know about iodine. Now, you've probably been told, you know, that iodine is necessary, you know, for thyroid hormone synthesis, and it is. But here is the problem. Supplemental iodine, taking iodine, is dangerous. And here's why. Over the last 20 years, in various places around the world, what has happened is um, they have gone in and tried to cure people's goiters. Okay, now a goiter, it happens when you get a swelling of your thyroid gland because you're iodine deficient. Fantastic, got it. And see, that's where it starts, by the way. This thinking that, well, if you're iodine deficient, give people iodine to get rid of the goiter, that must be good for someone who has low thyroid. Hang with me for a second. What has happened in every single case where they've given people iodine in Turkey, Sri Lanka, China, they have simultaneously cured their goiters and given them an autoimmune disease. How'd you like to be one of those people? You can clap yourself on the back. Hey, we, we cured your goiter, but we also gave you Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis. What that means is, is iodine is a trigger. It's a trigger for Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroid. And Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroid is the number one cause of low thyroid in America. It's not iodine deficiency. It just isn't. See, this whole issue of iodine exposes a really horrible dichotomy between you know traditional medicine and like quote alternative medicine. Well here's the problem. Traditional medicine is looking at TSH and T4 and T3 and they don't even really care about iodine. They're not even going to give you iodine because whatever your problem is, whatever it might be, the only thing you're going to get from them is thyroid hormones. Okay, so that's them over here. They've got thyroid hormones no matter what. Don't care if it's Hashimoto's, conversion problem, underconversion, binding gland, doesn't matter. All those things you might not know about. You're getting thyroid hormones. So they got a nice little box. You've heard of thinking outside the box. Well, they've got their nice little dusty box been sitting here for 30, 40 years, and that's how they do it. Now over here, we have the not-so-alternative, alternative medicine approach. And what they do is they also have their nice, sad, outdated box way of thinking. Now what's in their box is that everyone with low thyroid needs iodine supplementation or tyrosine or broad immune system support, or they need to take thyroid glandulars, and here's what they don't know. See, conventional medicine, they do some testing. These guys do almost no testing at all. They're still doing things like the Barnes underarm thyroid test, and that is such an ancient, prehistoric, non-useful way of doing it. You've got people over here that are doing like iodine absorption tests, as if that had any real relationship to your need for iodine. But what's the, the craziest thing is that these people seem to ignore the fact, and so do these people over here, by the way, that iodine is a trigger for Hashimoto's. So if you want to give yourself Hashimoto's, keep taking that iodine, that, that naturopath, the acupuncturist, the well-meaning doctor, by the way, I'm not trying to slam them, that well-meaning quote alternative doctor gave you, because they don't even understand the fact that what we're really dealing with almost 90% of the time is not low iodine. We're dealing with an autoimmune problem. And you can look for my other posts on Hashimoto's. It's, it's a very complex issue, but it is totally manageable and totally uh, helpable. But if you think that you've got low thyroid, okay, please don't go to the health food store and look open prescription for nutritional healing or ask the minimum wage employee what they need, because you're going to get iodine or you're going to get tyrosine. I'll talk about tyrosine later. But iodine is a trigger. In fact, one of the lines from one of the studies that I quoted for you calls it an explosive mix. And that's what I want you to remember. When you're taking iodine and you've got low thyroid symptoms and you haven't had the test done, you don't even know if you're autoimmune or not, it's like swallowing dynamite with a long fuse on it. Okay? It could trigger a massive autoimmune process that is never going to stop. See, having low thyroid symptoms and maybe having a, an underactive thyroid gland is one thing. Having an autoimmune disease is a whole other ballgame. And if you keep taking iodine, you are like playing Russian roulette. You're swallowing dynamite. I don't know how many analogies I can mix here, but you need to stop. That's the biggest thyroid mistake I, I see. You got low thyroid symptoms and you're taking iodine. Iodine is a trigger 
for autoimmune Hashimoto's thyroiditis.